What is going on guys? Good morning. So it is a weekend. I had some time to go ahead and start the parting up process. As you all know by now, if you follow my channel, I am parting ways. We are parting ways with the Gulf of Heart. And this is um, uh, one of the uh, other mornings where I'm going to go ahead and do this. This is the aftermarket Volkswagen emblem, uh, carbon fiber. It was really nice in the beginning when I had it. It was, uh, let me go ahead and switch up the camera view. It was really glossy back in the day, right? It had a clear coat on it that was really nice, good quality. However, once the uh, glass coat faded away, as you can see, it's a little bit left over here because this portion of it was inside the trunk. Like uh, this is the hatchback version of it where the reverse camera is. So the, here is um, the glossy coat. And here is the one that is exposed to all the UV rays and everything like that for maybe five years or so. And here it is. It's just kind of like a vinyl wrap under it with the glossy coat spray. So overall, the bottom portion of it where it was not exposed to any sun is still good. The weave part is fake, but it looked pretty nice in the beginning. And this is the one in the front, which was exposed to a ton of elements. So... Here it is, long-term review. Do I recommend it? Uh, if you guys want to switch it out, yes. You know, if you don't mind switching out and having, you know, spending, I think it's 30 bucks for everything back in the day. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go outside and give you guys an overlook or overview. All right, so here we have it. These are, look at the DRLs. These are, I want to miss these daytime running lights. Really nice. And overall, here it is. I really prefer the look of the stock. Volkswagen emblems. These are the chrome ones. Great. And uh, Mark 7, so the uh, adaptive cruise and everything is not integrated in this. We have it all the way down here in this particular section here, this unit. But here it is. All right, from, uh, go ahead and switch up the front ones like so. So, after five years or so, this is how it looks. And I definitely do prefer the OEM look of it. Taking a look back makes me kind of regret not doing this sooner and running it as my own setup. All right, and from here, I don't know what, how else to report back, but um, and there is a Maxon front splitter right there that I might go ahead and just leave on the car. It's a lot of work. I really don't have time to part out everything, so I'm just gonna go leave a good amount of it in the car but here it is a long-term review of it i'm gonna give you guys a look in the rear as well here it is it looks even better in the rear versus this yeah, i mean versus this one and yeah and you can see the glassy part of it right there on the side like so but definitely do prefer it at this point, at this stage. I just like, I appreciate the OEM. And that is it, guys. This is the first of the first of the part out. Now, in addition to parting out these, I also parted out this aftermarket part and put it in the OEM leather DSG. Why? Because... Basically, I just want everything to be as OEM as possible, but I think this would be a unique feature for the next owner. And plus, this is really hard to get out, so I don't want to snap any any, uh, any tabs. We are going to be um, moving parting ways with the Golf R and getting into a family vehicle. And from there, if you guys follow my channel, that's going to be a surprise. However, don't be... Uh, high expectations don't have high expectations because it's not going to be anything content worthy uh, for this particular age group I'm guessing like the you know the younger mark 7 crowd or um, uh, Volkswagen crowd or even you know the, the veterans but at the same time I think it's a it's a really the right move for my family uh, even though it won't be spoiler it won't be fun to drive um, but uh, it's a I'm excited in a different way I'm excited to uh, go on adventures and really uh, for the family be comfortable and at the same time maybe haul a couple of additional family members for, for us to all enjoy time together and in the future get back into maybe another Mark, um, 
another different generation golf golf R, and even in the future maybe they'll have they'll bring back the R32, um, in terms of VR6, or maybe finally put in a five cylinder, in the golf R's, but probably not. Everything every everywhere, every company is going electrified. So um, we'll see what the future holds. But if you guys are still watching this, if you guys are still into my channel. Um, thank you guys all for the years of support and from here uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.